Yeah. Do you know why they call them a full crush? Why is that, Chris? Was any fool gonna hit them? Let's do that again. I promise you this, Chris. I'm gonna be a lot more professional than, this, <laughs> than the sound <laughs> attack one. Off we go. Hi guys, quick video. No, we'll start that one again. That was terrible. <laughs> <laughs> well, this could probably be we're intro. It could be. Could. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Very exciting vlog this one today as myself and Chris, who you'll recognise. Good lad, who you will recognise from our uh, little trip down to Sound Attack to film the 900 series. We're going to be travelling down to Manchester for to, to visit Nico McBrain's new drum store. Hey! Nico McBrain, being the drummer of Iron Maiden, uh, has been a massive influence for both myself and Chris. Hey! Not only that, but Sonar are also going to be there. The man himself is going to be there, by the way, that's the most important thing. Uh, but yeah, Sonar are going to be there, they're going to be demoing his uh, SQ2 kit. So that's pretty exciting. Alongside Sonar is going to be Peisty, who, again, myself and Chris are massive fans of. Yeah, they're going to be de basically demoing or advertising Nickel McBrain's, uh, what, what's it called again? Treasure. The Treasure Series. Tre treasure Series symbol yes. set. Yeah, basically his signature range of, of symbols. Now that, that set is uh, just a slack, I think it's £10,000. Mm. So I'll probably not be making an appearance on this channel well, anytime soon. We're offering uh, <laughs> interest free credit a day on the treasures, mind well. <laughs> You, you, never know, you, know. you beauty. That said, uh, there is one symbol from that set that I'm going to be buying today, which is the kind of whole reason for this. Exactly, the whole reason for this trip down, uh, which is I've got to get this right, is the Peisty Signature Reflected 22-inch Power Bell Ride. Is that right? Think. It's his ride symbol basically yeah. isn't it? It's Nick McBrain's ride symbol. Uh, it's the symbol that he uses and it's got all of the, the kind of Iron Maiden uh, uh, artwork and all that sort of stuff on it. So really really excited to go pick that up. Uh, so yeah basically we're going to head down there now. Don't know how this video is actually going to pan out. It's going to be really really busy so we'll see what footage we can get. Other than that enjoy the video and enjoy the tunes that you're about to hear. Uh, on this because I haven't told you yet, but last week or week before I may have mentioned them I went to see a band called Zero uh, who are from Newcastle uh, And if you're into your alternative prog rock and kind of uh, mathy, uh, you know kind of saucy guitar riffs and, <laughs> and just stupid drum patterns that like people can't even comprehend <laughs> And these guys are a band for you. So I'm going to introduce Chris to them on the way down there. And uh, while we do head down there, we'll kick things off with a nice little drum intro. Here we go. There we are guys, I told you zero were good, and with a good bit of editing, it's only took about 25-30 seconds to get down here. So with that said, I'm going to pop in the store, have a quick look around while you enjoy this nice little naughty breakdown. enough of that because we've got the first presentation from Pisces coming up so we're going to head downstairs and see what they've got going on. You should usually stand over him and I'll take the piss out of the band. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have a J offer before they kick your arm up here? Why? <laughs> <laughs> Since you're playing really bad tonight, you, you know, what's going on? So this is used and as you can see the stick marks on my symbol usually up here. He's got a stick. Bill Wright. We did call this a power bell ride at one time, but we just, just changed the name of it, just called it Bell Ride 22. Um, as you can see, there's a lot of bell sticking goes on in the car. I like a lot of bell ride. You know, if you listen to, uh, so when we play World Eagles Dare Live, I tend to, tend to ride on the bell. So it's like that. because it makes it easier to do the bass drum part. Instead of going to It's got my 
disco, isn't it? <laughs> you know, off bill right, but so this is a beautiful. I love that. Design me myself and pasty. So both Peisty and Nico himself have been presenting the Nico McBrain Treasure Symbol Set. Recommended retail price for these, round about £11,500, or their special price today, £9,225. Either way, I'm afraid to say they won't be making an appearance on this channel anytime soon. However, we will be buying the 22-inch Peisty Signature Reflected Power Bell Ride. That'll be on the channel in a few weeks' time, so do stay tuned for that. In the meantime, we're going to see what else Nickel has to say about these gorgeous set of symbols. I ring in me cold cell when the bell begins to chime. He's high. Look, he's got a good clock in. See what happens to the old poor old 16 sandwich between the 19 and 20. He gets a lot of rubbing going on. Hence, all the logos and stuff have come off. Proof of usage. <laughs> 16. Very lovely. Then I've got 17, one up. Different kettle of fish this baby. We'll come back in a minute. So next to that we've got the 20 heavy full crash, which is this baby right here. Uh, <laughs> Like a sizzle, remember the old sizzle, sizzle, that the rivets in them? There's a hole in the middle. This is the only thing that is machined, by the way, when they make a symbol. I'm not supposed to be doing this, this is your thing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking notes, you're crazy. Right, you get, plate, <laughs> you get a plate of metal that's flat. And this fella at the, at the factory, doesn't he? he's got this jig and it comes in and there's a circle and he's got a blowtorch and he goes. He looks at the clock, it's tea time. Gets it nice glowing red off in the middle, <laughs> goes over to the machine, sticks it in a, in, a, in a press, it pops the cup up and it puts the hole in the middle, just like the hole I'm in. That's the only thing on a symbol that is actually machined by like, the profile is put in by a machine. Everything else then is handmade or hand worked. The craftsman, who then knows how hard the hammer needs to hit. It takes four years, Christian, for someone to learn to be one able year. to do. For a Nico symbol, it takes longer, but a regular symbol, yeah. it's one year. <laughs> oh. 20 years, one, it used to be four. Uh, wait, well, I hope Thomas said, oh no, we won't let anyone go on the signatures and then they had four years in the company. <laughs> uh, so there's a serious art. Now, the, the, the hammering tech, when you look at a symbol, you see the hammering tech. Now, and usually, I'm not going to tell them, uh, the most important, what do you think the most important hammering, first hammering is on a symbol? The very first thing they do after they get the plate metal that's got the polo mint hole in and the cut. I should tell you, it's the hammering around the cup. That dictates what kind of symbol is going to come out of it. Because imagine this is flat and with a cup in like that, and then they put the hammering around here, which if you turn it over, oh, this is very difficult to see. This is reflected on the bottom. This is a reflected lathing. And the, if you look at this, it looks like a, uh, a long playing record, doesn't it? All the little grooves. That is the final, but underneath that is all the hammering, which is the work, that's the artistry in there, all these. But this is the first hammering they do, which really sets up, and if you get that wrong, I'll be tired. You get your P45. So then. So what you're seeing here, apart from the Zildjian logo in the corner there, is a special section of the shop, Planet Peisty. So we're gonna entertain ourselves with a quick look round. Alright. 
Decent. No, no, major. Good to know. Oh, oh. 22, 2002 crash, red label. What is it? 22? 22, 22 crash, 2002 red oh, label. Oh, very nice, very nice. Can I give it a smack? Go ahead. <laughs> Bloody lovely that. Very nice. Go on Chris, give it a welly. Right, we're going without script here boys and girls. I don't know what Chris wants to say. Well, what it was. What it is, Before yeah. I got a proper job, I used to use the PST8s and the reflector series and the rock ones obviously would have been in a, in a heavy, heavier band obviously. Yes. The rock symbols would have been better suited. Just name drop, the Phil Founds. Yeah, Phil Founds. Cheeky David, plug. David. Chris also has a gig, I'll turn the camera around. Chris also has a gig, an album launch. When's the album launch? Oh. Tell the 7th of July in, in Queen Vic and Shields. You didn't look so sure. I can't remember what it is. You can't remember. 7th of July. We'll correct ourselves down there for wrong. We're 7th also, of July. 7th of July. We'll also put a link into the new music video that Phil Sounds has done. Yes. For a song called Lost. Magic. Which you can see is you. My new root symbols on. Here's you can enjoy some music while appreciating some good consumer advice. There we are. PST8. Lovely, lovely. Marvellous. Brilliant symbols. Is that, is that all there is to it? Yeah, I mean the lovely all round symbol, you know what I mean? Nice Very nice, quite a bit of depth to that, yeah, really yeah. nice, nice really symbol. nice. So which sizes uh, do you use? Which ones are you well, using? I used to have 14 hats, 16, 17, 18 crash, 18 china, and the 22 reflector rock ride. Done the job for the Phil Phones. Recorded the album on them. Does the job perfect. Magic. And what you move to now? All Sticking roots. with Pasty. Sticking with Pasty, just the roots. All roots. All roots. Very nice. You might see us on another one of his videos. You might do. Very soon actually, yeah, 7th of July, which we've already mentioned, we're going to be, uh, I'm going to be at the Phil Phones album launch at the Queen Vic. Uh, again, links in description, but I'm going to be there. I'm going to film a bit of a section for the rhythm and views section of the channel, uh, basically covering all of the gear that Chris uses. So stay tuned for that. Someone's making a rap over there. Who's making a noise? Who? Oh. Pack it in. Right, we've covered all things symbols, all things Pisces. We're now going to have a look around the sonar range, see what the guys have to offer, see what's going on, while you enjoy what's potentially the best grip in the world. Now this here is an absolutely stunning kit, it is the SQ2 series and it is the same series that you see over here, Nicko's kit, the man himself, a little sooty there, recognise him from somewhere. Uh, but yeah, this is an absolutely stunning kit, birch uh, shells I do believe, two ply if I'm uh, not mistaken, and uh, just some absolutely gorgeous tones, gorgeous tones, unfortunately we can't play this, uh, what we've been told to keep our, keep our mitts off, but uh, yeah, I'm sure if you've heard Nicko's kit uh, or any of the SQ2 series, you will know that it is an absolute beauty of a drum kit. So there we are, a trip to Nicko's drum shop, done and dusted. Been an absolutely fantastic day. Unfortunately, we didn't get to meet Nicko uh, as he had to dash off straight after his little drum solo, which you will uh, see in just a sec. But luckily enough, I managed to blag my way behind the kit, and this is the right symbol that I'm going to be buying. In fact, I have ordered it. It's coming next week, and it'll be the next video on the channel. So stay tuned for that, uh, for the rhythm and view section. And in the meantime, see you guys soon. Right, I'm out. <laughs> Shall I have a go at where Eagles there? Yeah. yeah. Don't all sing at once. <laughs> okay. Alright. Alright, let's have a little go then.
very, very much.